In your health, are pregnant women more likely to get into a car crash? Well, that is a question a group of scientists and doctors tried to answer. Let's get more from News 10's Jeff Mari in studio with us. Jeff, okay, so pregnant women, car crashes, there's a link. Well, there's the guy, the guy right next to you is a good person to ask. Dan, when your wife was pregnant, how many times did she A, drive, and B, experience back pain, fatigue, nausea, the symptoms that go along with pregnancy? She had the symptoms a lot, she drove a lot, and to be honest with you, a lot of guys look at it as if, hey, now I've got a designated driver, I'm going to take advantage of it. That's and true. That's what I did. That's true. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, these researchers took it a step further and they looked at the dangers of pregnant women being behind the wheel. Is there a correlation between accidents and pregnancies? The results were published in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. What they found is that of the half a million women who gave birth between 2006 and 2011, 42% were more likely to be in a traffic accident when they were expecting and they estimate that nearly one out of 50 women will be involved in a car crash while pregnant. If you think about it, something as simple as an increase in temperature can have quite the effect on a pregnant woman. And as doctors point out, it's something to keep in mind as those 90 degree days start to roll in. The second thing is, is women are just going to feel more miserable when they're hot and dehydrated. They're going to have more back pain, more bladder spasms, more crampiness, even maybe some bleeding, and they're just not going to feel right if they're too hot and too dehydrated. Now, doctors say it's important to not stigmatize pregnant women based on the findings. Drivers who text behind the wheel or are drinking and driving pose a far greater risk, although it may be a good time for pregnant women to look at risk reduction techniques. One would be to reduce your driving, if you can, uh, while you're pregnant. You know, avoid those long trips. No, you're they're more likely so uncomfortable, to sure. Symptoms. Listen to your body, sure. right? They if you're feeling a certain way, don't get behind the wheel. But that goes for all of us. Well, and Jeff, yes. we need to point out again, as we did in the 5 o'clock hour this morning, that even with this increased risk, they still are less likely to get involved in an accident than men at the same age. Yes. Yeah, and there was no reason provided for that either. Well, right? I, I got We're a men. few for you. We, yeah. There's one. We're men. Bad we drivers. We take it easy. Yeah. We could focus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Good Rob points. knows, he knows all about this. He just experienced it. And, and, and Rob, uh, the thing that Jeff was touching on, the heat, if there are pregnant women out there, and no doubt there are, Good the next hot. couple of days are not going to be their friend. No, it, it, you know, the heat's not going to be anybody's friend, really. No. You know, and here's the other thing, too. When we were talking about this, too, there might be an issue, too, with more car accidents being reported by right. pregnant women because, let's say you get in a minor fender bender, you may be inclined to call 911 because you're concerned about the pregnancy. Just in it case. gets reported, sure. and then the numbers get skewed. Sure. Absolutely.